with the McLaren fully operational, it's time to take a break and just have a little bit of fun for once. We are taking a look at the Jansno e-bikes today. We've got the X50 and the X70. First things first, let's get them out of the box and take a look. First to unbox, let's unbox the X50. This is a motorcycle style bike with a 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery pack. 750 watt rear hub motor sitting on 20 inch tires with a seven speed bicycle transmission. Both of these bikes share the same front and rear suspension, motorcycle headlight, turn signals, software controls. Very cool bike, very cool color. And like any other e-bike, assembly was easy enough and there were only a couple little adjustments to make right out of the box. Moving on to the X70, the bike I'm really going to focus the majority of this video on. It's really just the X50 with an additional battery pack and a different frame design. The X70 is also motorcycle style, 48 volt system, 750 watt rear hub motor, 20 inch tires, seven speed transmission, but it has a combined 34 amp hour battery pack instead of the 14 like the X50. The color of this one will let the consumer base decide, not my personal flavor, but there's lots of people who would love this. But overall though, very cool looking bike. Alright you guys, well here they are fully set up. We got the X50 over here and the X70 over here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just do the full tests on these, the range test, top speed test, everything. And that way I can give you guys an actual representation of what these bikes are actually like to own. So we got this one fully charged up already. Looks like it came pretty charged up and the X70 is still working on it. But dude, overall very cool looking bike so far. And because this is a review video on this bike, it's worth mentioning that it comes with a phone holder and it also comes with a bike lock and a pump and pretty much everything you would possibly need to get riding on this thing. Owner's manual and a full tool set you would need to put it together. Legit everything you would need to start riding it. You wouldn't have to have like your own tools and stuff. Okay, first up, jumping on the X70. My very first impression of this bike was its comfort. The acceleration wasn't the greatest as far as first impressions go, but everything else about the bike and the overall riding experience really made up for it. Probably one of the most comfortable and soft suspension setups right out of the box that you can get. And it's paired with a gel motorcycle style seat that's actually comfortable and not just for show. Incredibly comfortable to ride. On the hill test, you can see it loses some speed, definitely not a torque monster and definitely geared for flat terrain, but that's its purpose. It, you know, you're not gonna be climbing mountains on it. You're gonna be commuting. So I went my usual coffee shop route, which is 14.5 miles there and back, according to Google Maps via bike trails. And I actually had to go a second time because I still had well over half battery after the first trip. And it still wasn't dead after the second trip, so I cruised around a bit more until it started noticeably slowing down at full throttle. And at that point, I consider it pretty much dead and head home. Just finished the range test for the X70 and we got 37 miles. It actually underestimates the distance we've gone. I think that's probably one of the highest I've ever reviewed on the channel, ever. Freaking crazy. So let's get the X50 out, see what it does. Jumping on the X50, it was basically the exact same riding experience. Both bikes are almost identical, but the only slight noticeable difference between the two are the weights of the bike and I'll demonstrate it more in the next section of this video. Same as the X70, lost some speed on the hill, but again, these bikes are geared for flat surface commuting and light duty fun, not climbing hills all day. Although they are the same powertrain, the X50 actually accelerates and brakes slightly quicker than the X70, but really, it's the only notable difference worth mentioning. Both very fun and both very comfortable bikes. All right, just got finished with the X50 and we got currently 16 miles on one charge. It's not fully dead yet, but it's definitely slowing down. I might've gotten a mile or two more out of it. I'd give it a solid 18 miles of range, you know, on one charge. Obviously going full throttle, I'm six foot three, 210 pounds. So I'm a little bigger than the average rider. All 
All right, let's get a brake test. Not too bad. That's from like 20 something, 21, 22 miles per hour, not too bad. X70, let's do it. All right, let's go for another brake test. From about 20, a little bit longer than the X50. The only difference in powertrain and the only difference in performance that we're getting, like this one has slightly worse braking, it has slightly worse acceleration, it's just because it's heavier. It's got another fat battery pack on it. They're the exact same powertrain, this one's just heavier. So yeah, anyway, both very fun bikes with some pretty dang good performance. Okay, taking the Jansno X70 out for a ride. I did the full range test on this. I cannot believe we got 36 miles on one charge. That's for sure the longest range I think I've ever reviewed on this channel. Insane, dude. Out of an e-bike. That's crazy. On full throttle, doing 28 miles per hour the whole way. Now, well, now that I've ridden it an entire charge, which I was sitting on this thing for a couple hours at least, probably one of the most comfortable e-bikes I've reviewed as well. This is like a motorcycle seat, and it's actually like a gel cushion. It's not just there for appearance. It's actually comfortable, too. I will say it's definitely not the torquiest bike I've ever felt right off the bat. Like, you can see we're not getting up to speed super fast, but considering it gets you 28 miles miles per hour consistently for 36 freaking miles like I don't care it doesn't get up to speed as fast because that's insanely impressive and I don't say that lightly and to be so comfortable too the handlebars you can see are designed for comfort the riding position is I don't know really good for me like obviously I wouldn't be pedaling this thing if I didn't have to as far as the pedal height it's great for actually cruising around like a motorcycle it's a good motorcycle like peg height but for pedaling i don't think i'd want to pedal this thing too far the last bike i reviewed is 20 mile per hour top speed so we're definitely going to pound right past that it's going to leave it and let's hit this top speed run all right all throttle we're getting up to 24. all right we just hit 28. it's climbing pretty slowly still like we're at 29. ah we're so close 30. <laughs> Let's pull over here and see what we got for top speed. 28.7 miles per hour. I don't think you could get a better commuter bike. Obviously it's not like 0 60 time is not the highest you've ever seen, but just the, the top speed and the full range is really what matters most on e-bikes and those things blow a lot of other bikes out of the water. Insanely fun bike and the most comfortable bike probably one of the most comfortable e-bikes I've ever ridden as well. Anyway, let's take the X50 out. This one is a 14 amp hour. You get a very similar experience on this one as you do on the X70. The X70 just gets you a farther distance. But we're still gonna go ahead and hit a top speed test here. I think I'm gonna mainly focus these last final thoughts on the X70. This one basically is a similar riding experience as the X70, but you just get fewer miles. All right, max speed reset. Let's hit this top speed on the X50. All right, 27. You can see we got up to speed a lot faster. 28 already. Survey says 28.7, the exact same as the X70. So yeah, there you guys have it, dude. Nothing really to complain about on either of these. They're both very nice. They would definitely be in the top picks for me for sure. So a lot of the times when I do e-bike reviews, I don't even really check specs or prices or anything before I actually unbox them and actually ride them stuff. Just to preserve kind of an unbiased, like looking at the bike for what it is kind of perspective. Dude, I just looked up the price of the X70, expecting it to be like $23, $2,400 or something right in that price range. You can get this thing for a thousand bucks, $1,000. It's currently on sale on their website for $1,099, but they have a $100 off discount code. I promise you right now, you cannot get a better deal on a bike that does 36 
to 38 miles on one charge doing 28 miles per hour almost the entire way. Anyway, take that as you will. I'm not even biased right now. Like this is the best bang for your bucky bike you could possibly get. The only thing this bike might do a little bit worse than other comparable e-bikes is it does not accelerate quite as fast. But you get a higher top speed than a lot of other bikes and you get so much more range for other bikes in the 2000-ish dollar range price category. I seriously can't recommend this bike enough. Good, but legal top speed, insane range. I'm not even kidding you. If you limited yourself to 20 miles per hour, like a lot of other e-bikes are, guarantee you would have seen at least 40 to 45-ish miles out of one charge. Insane range, I've never seen that before. Not only is the powertrain great, it is so comfortable. The suspension on this thing and just the seat and the handlebar and the riding position, all of it works for an insanely comfortable ride. And I'm not even being biased, like there's very few bikes I actually speak this highly of. I legit thought this would be in the mid 2000s, this would be in the like $1,500 range. This one's like 700, this one's like a thousand. That's like legit all Express or Alibaba prices, but like discounted at the same time. And I bet in the next couple months, the prices of these will go up just because this is actually a genuinely good deal and they'll probably sell a lot of these at this price. And because we didn't go over it yet, let me actually go over software and kind of just the features of this bike really quick. And it's like at a cheap price too, I'd expect at least like the components to be cheap the individual components to be cheap, but you actually get like really nice hardware on this thing too. I'm legitimately mind blown at the price for this thing right now. And it has your speed and all basically just the normal functions. Pedal assist, you can turn up to five. You can actually change the settings, which I accidentally changed it to three being the highest, but it does the same power output. And then your settings plus and minus is what I was, is what I was telling you guys. There's a lot of different little programmable functions in here. Um, but I'm gonna click that out. Pretty standard display and all the info that you'd expect from an e-bike. But you also have like motorcycle headlight controls, you have turn signals, you have a horn. And very much like a motorcycle, you actually have a key that um, powers it on and off. And I actually don't mind this key setup. I don't like sticking it into the battery pack. That's my only complaint with bikes that are driven with a key and you actually have to have a key for it is you have to like put it in a battery pack in some obscure place. But this one actually feels like a motorcycle being on the actual user interface. Added level of security, I guess, for you if you're out and about and you don't want this thing to get stolen. And this has a twist throttle, which I highly prefer. I hate the thumb throttles. They just get uncomfortable after a while. And then quickly, I will show you the headlight, which is very nice and bright. It is legit like motorcycle spec headlight, very bright at night. You have your turn signals left and right. And then of course, literally the exact same hardware on the X50, you just get a little bit less range. Now comes the end of the video and normally I'd wrap up with final thoughts whatnot, but I'm pretty sure I said all of that already. Totally unbiased. If you're in the market for an e-bike right now, and you're gonna be using it for commuting, you should probably buy this one. You cannot beat the specs for the price. I've never actually seen a deal this good. <laughs> I feel like a car salesman right now, but I'm like legitimately being honest. I've never seen a bike perform like this one and as well built as this one for a thousand bucks. So there is a link below to this bike. I'm legitimately not trying to sell this to you. Please understand, I am not trying to sell this at all. But every now and then there will be an e-bike that I review that I'm genuinely impressed with. And that is the X70. X50 is fine as well, but I don't think you can beat the range spec on this thing for a couple hundred dollars more. I guess one thing I should mention is you're not gonna be climbing mountains on this thing, all right? This is a commuter e-bike. It's designed for commuting and comfort. The motor is not gonna pull you over big old hills. <laughs> I'm just assuming you understand that it's just a commuter bike. This is not supposed to be mountain climbing bike right here. So anyway, there's a link below if you guys do want to check these bikes out. Insanely fun and comfortable bikes and the range. You just can't beat on this. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.